Je dis que vous avez chaque monde qui prend mon temps à la classe là et chaque monde qui est pour la classe là. Je ne toujours connais là, c'est toujours un réel plaisir pour montrer la carte dans le ça. Dès le fait 9h45 pour montrer la carte pour vous montrer le pour là. Qui c'est sous page ça qui c'est Learning Languages Live avec professeur Jean Di Samedi. Nous saluons Aristal qui est en montant ma classe là. Je vais aider à aider nous partager. Ok, welcome everyone and uh, as you know guys. To teach you, and I say good evening to everyone. Good evening to everyone. If you are a newcomer, welcome. And good evening to everyone. Okay, once again, good evening to everyone. The first thing that I have to do, going back to film up Edin Badajil, help me share in the class, please. Help me share in the class. And I say good evening to everyone. Hey, good evening to everyone. Have me share in the class, please, guys. You didn't partage the class, s'il vous plaît. Okay, have me share in the class, please. This is the only way you can support us. C'est cette façon que vous allez supporter nous partager classe là. Foncez en vidéo et vite vos amis. And the course is free. Okay, I said to The course is free. Please have me share in the class. Okay, have me sharing it, please, please. Okay, good. Hi, Felix, how are you doing? Good evening, Felix, how are you doing, brother? Nice to see you tonight. You take one time elsewhere. Okay, Okay, good evening to everyone. And tell me, guys, how was your day? Please tell me how was your day. Please tell me how was your day, please, before starting. Before starting, tell me how was your day. By my side, everything was okay. Okay, I expect a good day. Thanks to God. I expect a good Have a good day. Thanks to God. And tell me how was your day. Okay. Tell me how it's a day, guys. Gelo, good. Nice to see you, Gelo. Nice to see you tonight. And thank you for sharing the class. Thank you for sharing the class. Class, please share the class, please. Good. Thank you for sharing the class. Good. And uh, guys. As you know, it's always a pleasure for me to be with you. C'est toujours plaisir pour moi avec nous. It's always a pleasure from Monday to Friday from 9.45 to 10.45. The goal is to teach you. The goal is to teach you guys. Because English is so important. Anglais, c'est un qui est très important. And that's it. Good evening to Josué Jean-Baptiste. And um, English one like it is important. This is the reason why I'm here tonight in order to teach you. See, it's just like you last week. I'm capable to teach. Each week, I'm always there to teach you. Okay. And uh, we're ready to start. We have no time to waste. No one can be lost. No one can be Good. And uh, I. Okay. Before starting, I'm going to say, "My dear, most of the time, I'm going to talk about that." And uh, welcome. If you're a newcomer, welcome. Good. Tonight we have a no lesson, guys. We have a no lesson tonight. This lesson is so important. It's so, I mean, I can say it's a basic lesson. Nous avons leçon, une nouvelle leçon à soi. Son leçon nous capable de son leçon qui de base. Ok, mais parce que tout le monde, majorité nous connaît ça pour le faire, mais nous juste faire par un rappel. Good. Tonight we're going to learn some English verbs. Okay, we're going to learn some verbs and English tonight because when you're going to make conversation, when you're going to talk to someone, you have to use verbs. This is the reason why tonight we're going to I mean to learn some verbs together. 
we are into the past tense of this verb. Nous avons le past, past tense là. Verb là. In the past participle of the verb. And we were into the meaning of the verb too. Hider in the IT. We were into the meaning of these verbs too. Nous avons une définition. Verb ça yo aussi. Ok? If you're ready guys, let's get started. Sous prêt, on commence. As you can see, tonight, comme qu'on va voir, we were going to learn 28 I mean, English verbs. There are a lot of verbs in English. But tonight, we are going to talk about, or we are going to learn 28 English verbs. But as well, we are going to learn, okay, we are going to learn, 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 we are going to Good. We are going to learn 28 English verbs. The first verb we're going to learn tonight is to describe. The first verb, please, the pronunciation is so important. The first verb is to describe. And we have the past. I put P, P or T, that is the past tense. Mete P, T, I say past tense. Okay, we have P, P or P, past participle. We're going to see the verb first. And after the past tense and the past participle of this verb. Okay, we have the first verb, like you see, to describe. To describe is the first verb. The past tense is described. I do not say but it's described. The past tense is described. The past participle is described too. Don't forget, guys, don't forget we talk about regular verbs and irregular verbs. We talked about regular verb and irregular verb. We can say, to describe is a regular verb. To describe is a regular Why? We have to determine when the past tense is determined by ED, past participle is determined by ED. We can say to describe is a past, I mean, is a regular verb. What is the definition? This is how it is to describe. Qui definition to describe? What is the definition of this verb? To describe. For example, by example, someone can ask me or someone can question me. Can you describe your, yourself? For example, I'm ready to describe myself. Okay, I'm going to I'm ready to describe my, myself. I'm ready to okay. I'm ready to say I'm a black man. I'm tall. I'm short. I'm handsome. I'm ugly. That means I'm describing myself. For example, you can describe like I I'm ready to. You can describe your house. To describe means describe. Can you describe yourself? Yes, I want you to describe yourself. Please, okay, to tell me, I mean, what, how is, how is the person, for example, who is the person that I'm talking about? If I'm talking about, that mean Pierre, can you describe Pierre? Okay, I'm ready to describe Pierre, but they could Pierre. Par exemple, on me font can you describe the person? Pour la riscamon, est-ce qu'on fait une description du monde? Can you describe the person? Est-ce qu'on fait okay, they could be the past tense, it was the first verb to describe. The past tense is described. For example, if I want to talk about something, okay, I want to talk um, about something that, that happened in the past, but if it's in the past, I just described it. I described the pronunciation is not described. It described. I described myself yesterday. I don't have to do it today because I did it yesterday. I described myself. I don't have to do I'm not ready to do it tonight because yesterday I described myself. The past participle to is described. It was the first verb for tonight. Good. We have the second verb. Okay, Panama my definition yo. Nous même n'a fait phrase n'a bonne phrase tout. Même j'en ai toujours fait là. Okay, we're going to make some sentences too. 
my fifth was spam. I'm going to, I mean, to, I'm going to make, I mean, some sentences, and you guys are going to make your own sentences. We have to describe. We have the self one is the verb to quiet. For example, if I have a son, for example, if I have a son, si mon petit, or if I have a daughter, si mon petit fille, mon cas, si la crie, mon cas dit, my daughter is crying. My daughter is crying. In this case, si mettez, my daughter is crying, let's have it utilized present progressive tense. Par exemple, si ma crie qu'on y a là, I am crying now. That means the action is happening now. The action is happening now. I am not crying now. The action is not happening now. Parlez de mettre ING. Si on fait pour phrase progressive là, après il devra mettre ING. Ok? Après il devra mettre ING. I am crying now. She is crying now. She has a little problem and she's crying. Si on dit ne pas crier, don't cry. Ok? Don't cry. Ok? I will help you. For example, you have a little problem. Ou un problème. Or, or you need something. You need something from someone. Ou vle ou bagay nan mou moun. De ou moun. But I see you are crying. Mou a crié. Or maybe you are in need. Pe ou kan nan necessite. I see you are crying. I can tell you. Don't cry. I will help you. I will help you. Okay? Because I see you are in need. You're in need, and bring, don't cry, baby. For example, your wife is crying for something to cry for. She's crying for something. Like, you can't say, you can't say, don't cry, baby. Don't cry, baby. I'm going to, I'm going to give you one million dollars. Okay, don't cry, my boy. Your million dollars. Good. The past tense of this verb the past tense of the verb to cry. On me face yes, Jack, we va. Okay? Ta respiration that by. The past tense of this verb is cry. Until we sa déjà. We have why. We change it. Mete i e d cry. For example, I cry yesterday. I cry yesterday. Mete cry hier. I cry yesterday. I this is the past tense of the verb to cry. Do you like to cry? Est-ce qu'on t'a crié? For example, if I want to ask a question in the past, si je me pose une question dans le passé, I'm going to use this helping verb, this auxiliary verb, dead. I'm going to ask what crié hier? Did you cry yesterday? I'm going to say, oui, moi t'a crié. It's something that happened in the past. Yes, I cried. Yes, I cried a lot. In the client pill. I cried a lot. The past tense of the verb to cry. And the past participle is cried. Past tense, PT. Okay, PT, the past tense. PP, past participle. The past tense of the verb to cry is. I will make it, I make it better. Good. Okay, the past tense of the verb to cry is cry. Good. Do you like to cry? Yes, I like to cry. For example, I have a, I mean, I have a little problem with my wife. I'm crying. Okay, this is the reason why I'm crying. This is the reason why I'm crying. Maybe Pierre has a little problem with, I mean, his wife and he is crying. Let's keep on. We have the next verb, guys. The next verb is to verify. To verify means everybody knows the definition of this verb. On peut le monde connaît définition. Moi ça dit tout, dit tout par les styles français. Okay? To verify. To verify means vérifier. For example, you give me, you give something to me. I want to see, I want to know whether it's good or not. I want to know whether it's good or not. I have to verify it. You have to verify it. If I give something to you, you have to 
or you must verify that thing. Vous devez vérifier les choses là. To see whether ou est si la gala bon ou soit si la bon. To see whether the thing is good or bad. To verify. But the past tense of this verb, to verify, that means, I mean, is verified. You change Y and you put or you add I E V. I verified it. You take very few. That's what they very few. Did you verify it? Yes, I verified it. Yes, I verified it. But if I were to give a negative sentence, si mesure by phrase négative, par dit moi pas te vérifier, I did not verify it. Il te vérifier, I verified it. Ok, et t'as remplacé chose dans la palée, ok? Donc là c'est chose, chose. I verified it. Did you verify it? Yes, I verified it. No, I did not verify. Ne m'a mettez pas cet instant. When I use did not or didn't, ma utilisé verify without to. I did not verify it. Yes, I verified it. Good. And the past participle is verify. To verify, verify, verify. It was the third verb for tonight. Eh? Quatrième verb là pour asseoir. Okay, troisième verb là pour asseoir. We have the next one to realize. To realize, to realize, the past tense of this verb is realized. Ça qui est important pour moi, c'est qu'on passe ce temps-là. Faut qu'on s'appelle pour la vérité avec passe ce temps-là, passe par ici pour là. Sometimes, vous pouvez utiliser qu'on est passe par. Ou t'es qu'à vouloir utiliser, ou pas qu'on passe ce temps-là. Ok, il y a un problème. But we have to realize, realized. I do not say realized it. The pronunciation is realized. Let me see. Okay, I want to verify how well on Miss Sandra. Okay, vle vle vle. Okay, good. You you'll be in trouble. What what you'll be in trouble. Okay, to realize means realize. For example, I realized that I was wrong. For example, I did something. I said, "I'm realizing that I realized that I was wrong. I'm sorry." I said, "I'm doing bad now. I'm going to realize that I'm wrong. I realized, I realized that I was wrong. I'm realizing that I'm wrong. I realized that I was wrong. To realize. Good. We have the next verb." The next verb is to read. To read, the past tense of the verb to read is run. For example, two teams are playing together. For example, Brazil or Haiti, Brazil or Haiti, they are playing. Haiti by Brazil. Okay, Haiti by Brazil. Haiti game. Okay, to read a game. I, okay, to read a game. Game on, jou, on jouet. For example, Haiti te gen, ma di Haiti run. Haiti won the game. Haiti gen jouet na. Ok, good. Ok, Haiti run the game. I'm ready to read. For example, I'm ready to read the game. I'm ready to participate in something. Ok, I'm ready to participate in something. Ba participe no bagay. Ma di I'm ready to read it. For example, it's, par exemple, on championnat, par exemple, I'm ready to ring, I'm ready to ring. M'te gen, I run, gagne, en sa sa. But, gagne, si m'a dit gagne de, de l'argent, par exemple, m'a dit I'm ready to ring money. To ring money, it does exist. Si m'a dit gagne de l'argent, en sa sa, m'a dit ça vaut l'argent. I have to say to earn money. M'a dit tout compte ça déjà, to earn money, that means to make money. Good. The past tense run run. We have the next verb. The next verb is to correct, to correct, corrected, corrected. To correct means corriger. Okay, I'm going to correct this thing. I'm going to correct it. You have to correct it because it was wrong. It is mauvais. 
it was bad. You have to or you must correct this mistake. For example, I told you the past tense of this verb of why is cragging. But you 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 can tell me, teacher, you made a mistake. Before you were, you must or uh, you must correct it. Okay? I have to correct it. If I make a mistake, I have to correct it because it is an obligation to correct it. If I I have to, I mean I will say that I make a mistake, we are this game for anywhere, I have to correct it. Let's keep on guys, man do I have a phrase, no kids and capale, clear basque Sandra Bala, Sandra Bala, Jean Pia Bala. Good. Let's keep on. We have the next verb. We have the next verb. We have the next verb. The next verb is to caress. The next verb is to caress. See? To caress. The next verb is to caress. What does that mean to caress, guys? What is the meaning of to caress? Let's go. What is happening to caress, please? What is the definition of to caress? Okay, what is the definition? Let's go. What is the definition of to caress? What is the definition of to caress? Let's go, guys. Good. Okay. Thank you, girl. Love. To caress means can you see? For example, you tonight I'm going to caress my wife. I'm going to caress my wife. That means can you see? Good. Thank you, girl. Love. To caress. Let's keep on, guys. We have the next verb. Okay, the past tense of the verb to caress is caressed. Mbabdi kari said, s'il vous plaît. Okay, when you mbabdi kari said, I kari said, get. For example, mbabdi mbabdi kari said, Tina. Mbabdi, I kari said, Tina. Okay, how can I say, I kari said, Tina? I caressed. I mean, they fait, so we go to the class, we do fait kill the son, he did, the gay son, he did, the gay son, Le mec est EDA, le gain son tia, que ça fait le gain son tia. I can rest. Par exemple, tu caresses ma dame moi hier soir. I can rest my wife yesterday. I cannot say I caressed. I caressed my wife yesterday. It's very bad. The past participle to is caressed. I caressed my wife every day. I caressed my girlfriend every day. That means to caress. We have to protect. To protect, for example, you can protect yourself from your enemy. For example, you are my enemy. You are not my friend. Or you are against me. We say, it means I have to protect myself from you. I have to protect myself from the enemy. You, okay, to protect, you have to protect yourself. I'm going to protect my wife. She is my wife. And I love her to bits. I love her to bits. I have to protect her. I have to protect her because she is my wife. He is my friend. I have to protect him. The police, the police officer will protect you. Policia, chef police, will protect you. I am here to protect you. I am here to protect you. I mean... Your wife is here, is next to you, in order to protect you. Madame Bokoto, I think you're capable to protect you, to protect. But the past tense of the verb to protect is protected. For example, I protected my wife yesterday. I protected Madame Moye. I protected my wife yesterday. I would, I would protect Madame. I would like to protect my wife every day. I would like to protect Madame every day. I would like to protect 
my wife every day. Ndai me protege me na jwen chaque jour. I would like to protect my, I mean, my girlfriend every day. I would like to protect my cousin. I have to protect myself. Ndwe protege tete mwen. Okay, I have to protect myself. The past tense is protected. Protected. We have the next verb, guys. I said, I'm going to comment here. I'm sorry, I'm going to send that part of the line. I'm going to send that part of the line. I'm going to send that part of the line. Okay, I'm going to send that part of the line. I'm going to send that part of the line. I'm going to send that part of the line. Okay? 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 Bon, bon phrase, bon phrase, s'il vous plaît. La question est mon cap parler. Et après, je vais prêcher. Good, let's keep on. On continue. Ah, quel est mon pas de phrase? Ok, on y, on y va, moi. Quel est mon pas de phrase? I protect my children very good. You protect your children every day. Ok? Il peut déjà petit lit chaque jour. That's great. Très bien, Wendy. Il y a beaucoup de commentaires. We have to improve. To improve. The past tense is improved. The past participle is improved. What does it happen to improve? For example, if I want, I want to be good at English, but I have to improve my my pronunciation. I am, I protect my sister. Galin, estimé, welcome. It seems that you are a newcomer. It sounds like you are a new venue. Welcome. I protect my sister sometimes. Very good. Very good, I mean, very good, I mean, example. You protect your, I mean, your, your sister sometimes. But you have to protect your sister all the time. Et bah, sometimes, no? Ou de protéger so tout le temps. All the time. We have the verb to improve. What is that mean to improve, guys? What is the definition of to improve? He says, I'm ready to improve. What is the definition of to improve, guys? He says, I'm ready to improve. Please tell me what is that to improve. To improve in French, it means améliorer. For example, I want to improve my Spanish. I want to improve my Spanish. I do not speak Spanish very well. Okay? I don't want, I don't speak Spanish very well. I want to improve my Spanish. Because I don't speak Spanish very well. I want to speak Portuguese. For example, I am living in Brazil. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm living in Brazil, for example. I want to improve my Portuguese. My wife Brazil, moi je veux améliorer portugais. But I'm living in Dominican Republic. I want to improve my Spanish. I have to make practice. What I can do to improve? Okay, go make some example. That protect me, protect me where wherever I go. Very good. Very good. I'm improving my English language with Mr. Sam. Very good. Got it. Okay, to improve. Okay, I mean you. I want to improve. For example, I have a bad pronunciation. Mou mouve pronunciation. Mou di mou vle améliore sa. Mou vle range sa. I have, I want to improve my pronunciation because I have a bad pronunciation. Good. To improve. And the past tense of this verb Past tense verb, et pas fait verb, ou soit passé verb, improve là, c'est improved. I improved my English yesterday. I improved my pronunciation every day. Ma, ma améliorer prononciation chaque jour. I improve. Ou doué améliorer prononciation chaque jour. You must improve your pronunciation every day. She must improve your her pronunciation every day we must improve our pronunciation every day that means to improve very améliorer good we have the next verb if you are the cover 
or latecomers to solve that that there. Tonight we are learning training eight, training eight, sorry, training eight English verbs together. As soon as I pop one, we do them ensemble. Get plusieurs les autres verbes, but very good sound joy. The reason I'm not doing that, I'm not sure why. I want to improve my English. You want to improve your English. Good. We have to attack. To attack. What is having to attack? I want you. I want you to improve. I want you to improve your strength. Good. The reason that I've been not gonna gonna change it. To attack. The reason that I've been we need we need to there too. Okay. To attack. For example, I am your enemy. I am not your friend. I'm not your friend. I'm your enemy. I'm going to attack you. Attack in Creole or in French. I'm going to attack you. We have the past tense of this verb. Attack. I'm not going to pronounce it like attack it. I'm going to attack it, s'il vous plaît. It's attacked. Okay? I want to improve my Spanish. Muy bien. Okay, muy bien. If you want to improve your Spanish, you have to make conversation. You have to make practice. Good, because Spanish is not easy. Spanish is so complicated. Spanish is difficult. Good. We have to attack. For example, my enemy will attack me tonight. Is in me no? Puede atacar más suya. My enemy will attack me. Attack is the past tense. Pabli attacked. So mon final la mes amis m'a dit attaqué, m'a dit attacked. Okay? Attacked. You can attack him. She attacked me. Okay? The past participle attacked. Let's keep on. We have the verb to leave. To leave means laisser partir. Par exemple, si m'a dit moi qui t'ai caille moi chaque chaque Lundi. Parler, c'est le présent. I leave my house every Monday. I leave my house every Monday. I leave. I leave my house every Monday. This is a present tense. I am living now. This is a present progressive tense. But if I want to talk, I mean, if I want to give the past tense of this verb, if I want to give the past tense of this verb, Oh, I want to. I want to learn. My goodness, miss up the idea. Okay, the past tense of this verb, the past tense of this verb to leave is left. Left. For example, take it like I went at quatre. Okay, I left my house at four o'clock. For example, I left my house. I cannot take it like I. At what time do you leave your house? I'm taking it like I went at. I left my house at 3 o'clock p.m. 3 p.m. 3 o'clock p.m. She left her house early. I left my house early. Because I left my house early. I went to the I left my house early. Because I woke up. I woke up. Okay. Or I got up. Okay. At 3 o'clock. Three o'clock, sorry. I left my house early. But the past tense of the verb to leave is left. No one can attack me because God. Good. Okay? Bon Dieu doit toujours écrire bon Dieu avec grand. Okay? Capital avec le manuscript. God. Good example. I know it. Good. We have to refuse. The past tense is refused. For example, she re she refused to talk to me. It is refused by the verb. Refused. I'm not going to say refused. But the refused. Sometimes when you put a verb la, the past tense is past participle la. Refused. If I say refused, okay, it's a mistake. The past tense. The past tense. Is refused. I refuse to talk to you. Okay? I refuse to talk. I mean to talk to her. 
she wanted to talk to me, literally parler avec moi, but I refused to talk to her. I, she wanted to kiss me. She wanted to caress me, literally caress him. Moi même moi refusé. She wanted to caress me and I refused, but I refused. She wanted to talk to me. She wanted to protect me. Literally protect him. She wanted to protect me, but I refused. Moi même me refuse the verb to refuse. I'm ready to refuse it. Today is a birthday. I'm ready to I mean to buy a gift for you. My goodness. Well and left me for Sandra. Well and kiddo Sandra. That's funny. Good. Okay. To refuse that means refuse it. We have to resolve. To resolve that means, for example, I have a problem. I have to resolve this problem. To resolve. The past thing is resolved. But to resolve then. Resolve. And for example, I have a problem. I have to resolve this problem tonight. No problem doing a good problem, sir. I swear. You have to resolve your problem. That's your problem. C'est problème pour ou le résoudre. My mother has a big problem. She's ready to try to resolve it. You can essay résoudre. Can you resolve my problem? I can resolve your problem because I have my own problem. Ma capable résoudre problème pour, but I have my own problem. You have to resolve your problem. Ou le résoudre problème. Otherwise, I can help you. Even if I have my hands full, even if I am very busy, I'm ready to resolve your problem. I'm ready to resolve it. To resolve the past tense is resolved. Please, but resolve it. Resolved. Resolved. I resolved my problem yesterday. Oh, what's the matter? What's the teacher? Quad neuf. Par exemple, on dit quad neuf. Qui ça ça vient? On dit tout mon problème. On dit quad neuf. What's new? I'm telling you, problem. Huh? I resolved this, uh, my problem yesterday. Problem I resolved it. I resolved it. Si ma vie soit problem là, mais des problèmes it là. I resolved it. I resolved it yesterday. Oh my! What can I do with the girl? Let's resolve it together. For good. For example, we have we have a problem. No problem. Let's resolve it together. Very good example, Kelly. Let's resolve it together. Let's resolve. We have the verb to feel. To feel. For example, how do you feel? How do you feel? I can resolve Wellen's problem. I resolve Wellen's problem. Okay? To resolve. I can resolve Sandra's problem. I can't because it's impossible. I don't have enough money because she needs a diamond ring. I can resolve this problem. Okay? Sandra is on a on on diamond. I can resolve this problem because I don't have enough money. I'm sorry, Sandra. We have to feel. To feel. How do you feel? I feel good today. I feel well today. Okay, I feel the past tense felt. I felt bad yesterday. Smabdi. Okay, nobody can control myself. Good. For example, Mabdi Mwete Sati Magye. I felt. I felt bad yesterday. I felt bad yesterday. Komote Santo, how do you feel? How did you feel? I felt good. How did you feel? How did you feel? I felt good. I felt unhappy. I felt sad. Is the past tense or the verb to feel? I feel good. I feel great, teacher. Okay? I feel good because my wife can rest. Me last night. Okay, my example. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Yeah, because my mother wanted 
Carnism, I swear. A swearing by say, I felt good because I felt good because my wife caressed me last night. I felt good because he had run last night. Mon t'es content, mon senti me t'es bien parce que a été t'es gagné. Swearing, swearing qui dépasse ya. Okay, run the game. We have the verb. Okay, felt, felt. We have the verb to confess. I felt bad yesterday. Was I felt bad last night because I don't have it. Very, oh, I, I'm sorry. I took an example, man. I'm sorry. Jean Pierre dit I felt bad last night because I had a headache. Il était senti pas bien hier soir parce que il était content de faire mal. Good. Let's keep on, guys. We have the next verb. The next verb is to confess. The next verb is to confess. The past tense or the past participle of this verb is confessed. Please, guys, are you pregnant? Do you have one in the oven? Are you pregnant? What is so go for? Are you pregnant? She's pregnant for you, well. That's it, Paula. Okay, we have to conf confess. Confessed. Confessed. Say, confess. You have to confess your sin. Would you confess? Okay, no, I know it's an example, okay? You have to confess your sin, Bishop. For example, we are all sinners. I felt, I feel like, well, I'm not. Okay, for example, we are all sinners. Nous tous ces pécheurs, we are all sinners. We have to confess, okay? We have to confess our sins. Nous devons confesser péché nous yo. Okay, to confess our sins. To confess means confesser. Let's keep on, guys. If you are a latecomer or if you are newcomer, tonight, ce sont nous qui fait monter en classe là. So now we are, I mean, we are learning 28 English verbs. I should have happened 28 verbs with past tense, you have past participle, you. This is what I'm saying. Okay, let's keep on and continue. We have the next verb. Next verb is to pick up. The past participle of this verb, or the past tense of this verb, is picked up. Picked up. Mbadi Piken, please. Chip. Good. She picked up. For example, to pick up, what does that mean? What is that? What is the definition of this word? I mean, of this verb. To pick up, for example, it has, I mean, a lot of definitions. But then, for example, someone is calling me. Oman Abrilim. I'm going to pick up the phone. Okay, my phone is ringing now. Telephone is I'm ready to pick up the phone. For example, telephone is ringing now. I'm ready to pick up the phone. 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 pick up the phone. I'm ready to pick up the For example, I'm ready to pick up the phone. Okay, I'm ready to pick up the phone. May you pick up the phone, please? Because someone is calling. I'm very busy. Someone is calling. Can you pick up the phone, please? Okay, someone is calling. Can you pick up the phone, please? You want to pick up the phone, please? Can you pick up the phone? But, the definition of pick up is to pass it. Okay, pass it. For example, I'm going to work. Buy a machine. Mom, di, est-ce qu'on va passer prom? Mom, di, can you pick me up, please? Est-ce qu'on va passer prom? Because buy a machine. Can you pick me up? Pas bien pick up là non. Non, il y a deux sens. I'm going to pick up the phone. Bling bling, the telephone is ringing. Téléphone a sonné. Can you pick up the phone, please? Est-ce qu'on va pas prendre téléphone s'il vous plaît? But to pick up. 
means to passer prendre passer prendre par me dit la créole là pour tout pour comprendre for example Sandra pas gain machine OK il dit monsieur samedi OK can you pick me up tomorrow est-ce qu'on capable de prendre des CV on dit ah oui OK I'm ready to pick you up don't worry pas inquiet tout m'a passer pour au soir m'a pas gain machine m'a travailler c'est Sandra gain machine on va dire Sandra please I'm ready to can you do me this favor est-ce qu'on capable de faire ça can you pick me up tomorrow please Je suis à ma seule machine tout, mon n'a pas des pieds, il va se bon. Can you pick I did the de pied machine de carreau tu me Can you pick me up tomorrow? Because I want to go to your house, mais la caillou. Can you pick me up tomorrow? Est-ce qu'on capable se prendre? Il veut aller la caillou. But the past tense please of this verb. The past tense of the verb to pick up is picked. Picked. Par bien son, ils vont sonter à la fin. Picked. Okay, I picked you up. Can you pick me up? Pick your money. Pick up your money. Okay? Okay, passe prend. Very good. Anglais qui ça dit dépendamment de côté il y a le bon sens s'il vous plaît. Anglais pas statique, il dynamique. We have the verb. Okay, we have the verb to buy. The past tense of the verb to buy is but but. But, okay? The for example, I bought a nice book yesterday. I bought a Spanish book. I am learning Spanish. Ma papa en espagnol, par exemple. I bought a nice Spanish book. Ma chambre belle en espagnol. Otherwise, I am learning Portuguese. I, I bought a nice, I mean, Portuguese book. Ok, ma chambre belle en portugais. For, otherwise, autrement, today is my wife Okay, yesterday was my wife's birthday. Yet it fit my the way. I bought a diamond ring for her. An example. I bought I bought uh I mean a book for her. The the verb is to buy. The past tense of the verb to buy is but I would like to buy a special Thing for you. For example, I would like to buy a for I would like to buy a special thing for my wife or for my friend. Or I bought a special thing for her yesterday. The past tense of the verb to buy. Good. Let's keep on, guys. We have to control. To control. That means, for example, I drew up a lot. Je ne peux pas contrôler la tête. Un exemple, je ne peux pas contrôler la tête. Je ne peux pas contrôler la tête parce que je ne peux pas contrôler la tête. 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 Pour contrôler, vous devez contrôler votre vie. Vous devez contrôler la vie. Vous devez contrôler la façon dont vous actez. Vous devez contrôler la façon dont vous agissez. To control, the past tense of the verb to control is controlled. S'il vous plaît, même si vous mettez elle ça là, elle ça là, là vous mettez past tense là, vous simplement vous vous mettez quoi elle non? Vous mettez control, controlled. Vous devez mettre control with double L, avec des L. I control my destiny. Good. Controlled, controlled. Par exemple, je suis un groupe d'amis, je me dis, je ne suis pas capable de contrôler tes moyens. Je ne suis pas capable, si je ne pouvais pas, si je n'ai pas les français, I could not control myself yesterday. Ah, je ne suis pas capable de contrôler tes têtes hier, non? Ou soit Pierre n'est pas capable de contrôler tes têtes hier, non? Pierre could not control okay, himself. Nous avons fait pour nous réfléchir. I cannot, I could not control myself. You could not control yourself. He could not control himself. She could not control herself. Il peut pas contrôler tête pas. She could not control her herself. Il peut pas capable contrôler tête lui. Okay. I could not or I couldn't. Pas ne could not. 
Si on fait forme abri et forme contracté là, c'est quand même qui dit couldn't is not a problem. Couldn't I couldn't control my accident yesterday? Why? Because I had I had a terrible accident. The one that's not it did there be. I had a terrible accident. I couldn't control myself. But that was only. Very good. She cannot control her emotion. When I drink too much, I can control my. Very good. Très bien, un bel exemple. Ça veut dire, when I drink too much, I can't control myself. I can't control myself. L'elle boit un pile, ok, elle va contrôler la tête. Mais l'elle boit un pile de l'eau. When you drink, I mean, you, you drink too much water. Boit trop de l'eau sans l'air. We have the verb to take. To take the past things is took. The past participle is taken. For example, can I take this? The thing that belongs belong to you by the Can I take this? I, okay, I'm going to take it. You can take it. The past tense is the past tense to the past participle is taken. En Haïti, la délai pour l'Haïti, il y a fait étudier par cœur. Par exemple, là, si je fais passer composé avec tout tel, je ne connais pas la conjugue avec l'auxiliaire avoir. I have to conjugate the verb to, to have, I have, plus the past participle. Ok? The past, past participle of the verb to take is taken. Je dis, I have taken. Nous faisons ça déjà, nous juste mettons ça pour révision. I have taken. J'ai pris. Ouais. J'ai acheté. I have bought. I have bought. Moi, j'ai fait un peu de temps, mais Haïti, j'ai fait un peu de temps, 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 j'ai fait un peu de dire ça. I told her that. De dire ça. I told her that. We have to say said said. To lose. Nous devons faire différence là. We made. We made the difference. Nous devons faire. We made the difference between tell and say. Sous son nouveau venu. Dans l'autre vidéo, il y a une différence entre tout tel et tout avec tout tel avec tout tel. Avec ce page-là, même pas je regarde pour voir la différence qu'il y a entre tout tel et tout tel. Tout tel et tout tel, ils sont les mêmes. Ils sont les mêmes choses. Mais, ils ont utilisé la différence entre tout tel et tout tel. Par exemple, je vais te dire quelque chose. Je vais te dire quelque chose. I'm going to tell you something. I'll tell you exactly what's what's in my mind. What's in my mind? For I'm going to tell you exactly what I think. Par exemple, I'm doing exactly what I'm pensé. I'm going to tell you. Nous toujours une façon qui puisse pour m'expliquer mon nagara là. Des fois, peut-être on l'autre mon nagara. Quand on leur a expliqué mal, mal dit des termes techniques, yo. Des fois, peut-être on l'autre mon nagara faut mettre ou mettre ou faut mettre tel là. Par exemple, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell her. I'm going to tell him. But say la li mem. Li la pou rapote yon. Or report a speech. To report a speech. Ok? Men lo jo. Lo kon a fe bwa akti bwa pasi. Ok? Kon fe tout bagay sa. On so. On se. For example. I say. Mwen di. On pa mba mette moun. I say. I want to say something. Je veux dire quelque chose. Mais si ma di. Je veux te dire quelque chose. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. Can you tell me, by the to tell, to tell For example, I have something to tell you. Something happened yesterday. I have something to tell you today. I want to tell you something. We have to lose the past tense of the verb to lose is lost. I lost my, okay? I lost my bag. I lost my money. 
I lost my passport. Aí você passou um perdi. I lost it. Um perdi. Did you lose? Did, did you lose something? For example, someone is. I mean, someone says that you're looking for. You're looking for something. Um meu abjá chia dela. You're looking for something. And okay, you're looking for something. Um abjá. Okay. Mas se eu perdi por mim, I lost my my pen. Por mim, ele é garre. Eu perdi já o dia na criola. We have to sell. The, to sell, for example, I'm a salesman. Okay, I'm a salesman, for example. You are a saleswoman. You're going to sell your goods. Well, when my chance is what? For example, if you're selling computer, so I'm an ordinator, you're going to sell. The past tense is sold. I sold is the past tense. Good. What did you say? Okay. What did you say? So did you. We have to decide, to decide, and the past tense of the verb to decide is deciding. As a matter of fact, I decided to visit you. I decided to visit you. Okay, good. I decided to visit you. I decided to talk to you. I decided to talk to you. Mas decidi falar, não. I did not decide to talk to you. She decided to talk to me. E te decidi falar, decided. I decided to talk to you. We have to pay. Paid, paid. For I owe you twenty American dollars. No, vendo lá me que, no way. I'm going to pay you tomorrow. T Today, I don't have enough money, but tomorrow I'm going to pay you. Don't worry, I'm going to pay you tomorrow. We have to offer, offered, offered. I'm going to offer you something, but offer you a Offered, offered, the past tense. We have to see, to see, so seen. I see, well, I saw well on yesterday. I saw Kari yesterday. I saw Sandra's Sandra and Jean Pierre yesterday. Did they wait? Sandra with Jean Pierre? Yeah. To see, so seen. To me, we have the verb to me, met, met. The past tense of the verb to me is met, met. I met her. I met her yesterday. Good guys, tonight we, are, we were talking about 28 English verbs together. Okay, we are learning 28 English verbs together. So, I'll let you do a package on that. What point do you have? See if that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just put it on that. But, I'm going to put it on that. I'm going to put it on that. But, the first verb, I'm going to put it on that. I'm going to describe, to quiet, to verify, to realize, for pronunciation, to read, to correct, to caress. To protect, to improve, to attack, to leave, to refuse, to resolve, to fail, to confess, to pick up, to buy, to control, to take, to tell, to say, to lose, to sell, to decide, to pay, offer, to see, to me. Okay, guys, and um, I think that's all for tonight because it's it's. Let me see. It's I mean forty five past eleven. I decided to take a race. Very good. It's it's. 45 past 11, the 11 Okay, the 11 That's all for tonight. And uh, please, guys, try to make sentence with them. And see if it's with you. Okay, see if it's with you. Okay, and thank you. Mdi, merci avec chaque monde qui toujours est sur classe. Merci avec tout le monde qui toujours partage classe pour nous. Thank you so much. And if you're a newcomer, ce sont nouveaux venus. Welcome, 
Oye Classe, our schedule is from Monday to Friday. Oye Classe, c'est du lundi au vendredi de 9h45, dépendamment de l'équipe Oye, par exemple, moi, je suis chez lui, il est 11h45. Pour moi, là, il est 11h45. Ok? Il est 11h45. Pour moi, il est 11h45. Pour moi, dépendamment de l'équipe Oye, il est capable de 9h46. Il est capable de 10h46. Pour moi, il est presque à minuit. Ok? Mais, sous Chili, c'est 10h45. Mais sous notre pays, c'est 9h45 pour vous. C'est notre schedule. Et merci avec chaque monde qui supporte le travail là. Merci avec monde qui toujours bon courage. Thank you so much. Et ça nous va être capable de faire classe là. Et merci avec chaque monde qui vient de nous en route. Merci avec chaque monde qui, depuis le commencement, qui est toujours là avec nous. D'Haïti, Gachette, en pilote monde, etc. etc. Wouni, Wouland. Hein, sans nous, merci, fa, merci avec chaque monde qui vient de nous. Et merci avec chaque monde tout qui abonne avec la chaîne YouTube là. Thank you so much. Ok? Merci. La chaîne là, c'est Learning Language Life. C'est cette façon ça pour capable supporter nous. Et abonnez avec la chaîne là, partagez la classe là. Et tout ça va pas prendre profiter. Hein? Profitez parce que vous le arrivé, vous avez tellement de problèmes, vous avez tellement de variants de temps, vous avez tellement de Tout ça, je vais profiter après vous. And thank you so much, guys, and have a good night. And I love you. I love you so much. And see you tomorrow, if God's willing. I love you so much. And see you tomorrow. Bye.